Hey everybody, we're here. We'll go ahead and do Bible reading here. We are Ezekiel, if I'm not mistaken, chapter 39. Uh, it is late, so I'm doing it inside my garage here. We'll scoot back a little bit there. Uh, I had a water leak, so I found it last night right after whenever I was getting ready to go inside. Went and got the parts, and sadly the CPDC line. Uh, the good Lord's going to take care of it. I got it together now. I'm waiting on the glue to dry. Um, I had it together once and it blew off the glue. I don't know if it was bad glue or what, but I got my other container glue and tried it. So hopefully this one holds, but I know it, all things are possible through Christ who strengthens me. So, um, I'm just out of time. It's after nine o'clock, so I don't have anywhere I can go to get more pieces if I need them. Uh, cause everything is closed. Uh, we don't have a lot of 24 hour stores anymore like we had pre pandemic. So. But we'll go ahead and do uh, chapter 39 here, give that a chance to dry. Uh, caption above 39 is the prophecy against Gog, slaughtered to be buried. Therefore thou son of man prophesy against Gog, and say, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am thee, O Gog. Wait a second, I think we did this yesterday. No? It's just still Gog. Uh, it must be, uh, that's right, it was both chapters. Yeah, my brain is, or I've been down there, sorry. Therefore, thou son of man, prophesy against Gog, and say, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and I will turn thee back and leave but the sixth part of thee, and will cause thee to come up from the north parts, and will bring thee upon the mountains of Israel. And I will smite thy bow out of thy hand, out of thy left hand. Smite a bow out of thy left hand. And will cause thine arrows to fall out of thy right hand. Thou shalt fall upon the mountains of Israel, thou and all thy bands, and the people that is with thee. I will give thee unto the ravenous birds of every sort, and to the beasts of the field to be devoured. Thou shalt fall upon the open field, for I have spoken it with the Lord God. I will send a fire on Magog, and among them that dwell carelessly in the isles, and they shall know that I am the Lord. So will I make my holy name known in the midst of my people, Israel, and I will not let them pollute my holy name any more. And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, the Holy One in Israel. Behold, it is come, and it is done, saith the Lord God. This is the day whereof I have spoken. And they that dwell in the cities of Israel shall go forth, and shall set on fire, and burn the weapons, both the shields and the bucklers, the bows and the arrows, and the handstaves and the spears, and they shall burn them with fire seven years, so that they shall take no wood out of the field, neither cut down any out of the forest. For they shall burn the weapons with fire, and they shall spoil those that spoiled them, and rob those that robbed them, saith the Lord God. And it shall come to pass in that day that I will give unto Gog a place there of graves in Israel." the valley of the passengers on the east of the sea, and it shall stop the noses of the passengers. And there shall, be, and there shall they bury Gog in all his multitude, and they shall call it the valley of Hemingog. And seven months shall the house of Israel be burying of them, that they may cleanse the land. Yea, all the people of the land shall bury them, and it shall be the, to them a renown, and the, a renown the day that I shall be glorified, saith the Lord God. And they shall sever out men of continual employment passing through the land to bury with the passengers, those that remain upon the face of the earth, to cleanse it. After the end of seven months shall they search. And the passengers that pass through the land, when any seeth a man's bone, then shall he set up a sign by it, till the barriers have buried it in the valley of Hemingog. And also the name of the city shall be Hamana. Thus saith 
or thus shall, I'm so used to it being thus saith the Lord your God, or thus saith the Lord God. Um, so, but here it's thus shall they cleanse the land. And now, son of man, thus saith the Lord God, speak unto every feathered fowl and to every beast of the field, assemble yourselves and come, gather yourselves on every side to my sacrifice that I do sacrifice for you, even a great sacrifice upon the mountains of Israel, that you may eat flesh and drink blood. I wonder if that has anything to do with communion. Because this is prophecy. Ye shall eat the flesh of the mighty and drink the blood of the princes of the earth, of rams. Princes of the earth, of rams, of lambs, and of goats, of bullocks, all of them, fatlings of Bashan. Well, with some of the things they named here, goats, I doubt it has to do with communion. And ye shall eat fat till ye be full. Eat fat until ye be full? Or till ye be full, not until. Till. And drink blood till ye be drunken. Is he talking about alcohol there? Because you get drunk off blood or off of strong drink. Of my sacrifice which I have sac of my sacrifice which I have sacrificed for you. Okay. Thus ye shall be filled at my table with horses and chariots, with mighty men, and with all men of war, saith the Lord God. And I will set my glory among the heathen, and all the heathen shall see my judgment that I have executed in my hand that I have laid upon them. So the house of Israel shall know that I am the Lord, their God, from that day and forward. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity, because they trespassed against me. Therefore hid I my face from them, and gave them into the hand of their enemies. So fell they all by the sword, according to their uncleanness, and according to their transgressions have I done unto them, and hid my face from them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Now will I bring again the captivity of Jacob, and have mercy upon the whole house of Israel, and will be jealous for my holy name. After that they have borne their name, they have borne their shame, not name, after that they have borne their shame, verse 26, and all their trespasses whereby they have trespassed against me, when they dwelt safely in their land, and none made them afraid. When I have brought them against from the people, and gathered them out of their enemies, lands, and am sanctified in them in the sight of many nations, then shall they know that I am the Lord their God, which caused them to be led into captivity." among the heathen, but I have gathered them unto their own land, and have left none of them any more there. Neither will I hide my face any more from them, for I have poured out my spirit upon the house of Israel, saith the Lord God. That's chapter 39 of Ezekiel. Uh, there is no captions below here. Let me see if it's on the next page. I know they kind of combined 38 and 39. They did. Uh, I read them yesterday with 38, the little captions in the study Bible at the bottom. Uh, Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today, Lord, to thank you for all that you do for us, Lord. We love you, Lord, and we praise you. Be with us. Allow us to get what we need to get done just to further the, the kingdom for you, Lord, and just to always strive to be better for you, Lord. Be with us as we take care of the things that happen throughout our lives, Lord, that we just do everything in the honor to you. Allow our angers to subside or our road rage when we're driving or anything. Uh, like today, whenever I thought to myself, what a jerk for that guy that was just standing or sitting at the drive through window at the place where I went to get food because uh, he pulled up there to place his order at Marco's Pizza and he just sat there. Uh, I sat behind him for 10 minutes trying to be patient. I knew my food was ready, so I backed up, parked, and walked in, got my food, came out, and he was still sitting there. And I actually mumbled under my breath, what a jerk. I should not have done that, Lord. I should have just been patient and kind and been happy that I could walk in and get that food. 
So forgive me of doing that, Lord. It, other, I can't control others' actions, but I need to control my own. But I am not perfect. We all know that. None of us are. So be with us, Lord. Thank you for the blessing that you had for my Uncle Ray, where they said that the tumors are shrinking behind his eyes. We thank you, Lord, for that. And we know in the mighty name of Jesus, all things are possible. And if you want complete, miraculous healing, you can do that. Because you are the same today as you were and as you will be. We love you, Lord, and we praise you. We thank you for everything. In Jesus Christ's name we do pray. Amen. All right, everybody. Uh, we will see you soon. I'll do 40 tomorrow. And uh, it's been 10 minutes, so I got five more minutes till I can go make sure because it says to let that glue set for at least 15 minutes before you turn it on. Um, so we'll, we'll wait and see. I'll see you soon.